Okay, I'm just going to take a minute and put this clamp back into place. It'll be easier to do now than it will be uh, when the tank is under the vehicle. Okay. We have this one, but we'll get it underneath there. See if we can get it into position and start putting the tank in. Okay, you can see I uh, stuffed the uh, fill tube with a rag. I, I didn't want my hard work to go undone where I cleaned the tank out completely. So you don't want to clog that off from any debris getting in there. Okay, you can see I have the tank just about where it needs to be, but before I go all the way up, I want to do all my connections uh, and tighten down my clamps for my fill tubes, because if I get the tank up all the way, it might be more difficult to get uh, get this stuff on. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down, see if I can get that done. Gonna work the jack a little bit and try to get these hoses on similar to the way I got them off. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is you do need to take these clips off the old pump and put them here. One is a larger diameter than the other. This one's larger. This one goes here. And then you got to spin them so they match up with the notches. Okay, make, they're all, make sure they're all on. And I don't know if you remember this one. This one slides right on here. And then this one obviously is much longer than it needs to be. I'm going to come under here with a wire tie and we'll tie that up. good right there. As 
just have to jack this uh, tank up a little more so I'm not going to tighten these clamps down just yet until I get the straps on but at least I know those fill tubes are lined up and on the uh, on the place they need to be okay I'm gonna go ahead and jack this up a little bit more is the rear strap Okay, the last thing I have to do is uh, tighten up my fill clamps here, my fill tube clamps. And then I'm going to take a wire tie and just kind of take up some of that slack on the pigtail I put on. Okay, that should do it right there. Those feel good. I just want to do this to keep it from sort of flopping around back here. Okay, let's turn the key on and see if we hear the pump. Well, I can hear it. I'm going to lower it down, put some gas in it, and try to start it. Okay, so moment of truth, I put about two, two and a half gallons of gas in it. I'm just going to turn it on here, let it pressurize. There's a good sign. My gas gauge appears to be working, which it hasn't since I've owned the vehicle. Let's give it a shot. There it is. Fuel tank removal, fuel pump replacement, and fuel tank installation. I hope these videos have been helpful. Uh, leave questions and comments below. Don't be afraid to tackle a job like this. Um, you can do it. There's my uh, secondary air injection uh, pump issue. I'm going to have to tackle that eventually, but the fuel pump was more important. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.